you manifested this reading, this video for this exact moment. Okay, let's get into it. For all who are watching. Hand fasting, union. So whether or not you are currently in a partnership, this is about a union here. You are or have shifted into a timeline where you are getting closer and closer to that person. I feel like because, and for those of you who are single or if you've been distant from your partner, you've become very close to yourself. You've gone into union with yourself, with the light and dark side, the, the light and shadow, whatever you would like to call it. You've come into union with yourself. And because you are coming into union with yourself, whether you are in relationship or not, it's drawing your person closer to you. So this, this is definitely union energy here and then look staff stability because you are creating stability within your own energy fields your own mind body heart soul spirit finances you're creating stability in your life right now you are creating union in your life right now you are not denying any part of yourself your reality your life you are accepting all parts of yourself in your life at this time creating union within self stability within self and because you are doing that within yourself, it is showing and manifesting in all the relationships around you. So you are seeing better union and stability in family, friends, work, love. Awakening, exactly, because you've gone through an awakening, because you're currently going through an awakening. And overall energy is at the boundaries. I feel, and I showed that at two minutes and 22 seconds. Love it. With boundaries, that's pretty obvious, you know, straightforward. But I feel like you created boundaries with yourself first. I feel like it always starts with the self. It's what you will and won't allow. It's when you're fed up. It's like, say for instance, I'll just use what I don't like. For example, I don't touch my own face a lot because my skin is very sensitive and it breaks out. So I don't allow other people to touch my face at all. <laughs> at all. Like even people close to me, it could be family members, lovers, I'm sorry. <laughs> like wash them hands. I, I don't allow anyone to touch my face. I don't even touch my face often unless I wash my hands because my skin breaks out easy. And that's just an example. So it's like when you have that boundary and care for yourself, when people see that, oh, they don't allow that, they don't do that, and they don't allow nobody else to do that. That is a strict boundary that anyone who has ever met me knows. <laughs> and it's just like people can see because and it's just so mindless. It's one of those things where it's so mindless because I feel like you've gotten to a point of breakthrough and healing where it's just so mindless and second nature for you. Now, for some of you, this is a boundary where you have to put an action, you know, constant effort and work to enforce with yourself and others. But I feel like even then it's becoming second nature for you. And I just did a reading where this card boundaries, if you go down there's a cover where this card is there. It says boundaries there. Union stability. And I feel like overall energy being boundaries is because you are placing clear boundaries with yourself and others. Because you've gone through an awakening where you are accepting your shadow side. Because when it comes to the, the shadow work, it has nothing to do with removing your shadow. It is all to do with accepting it and balancing it out with the light. So 
so that you don't go um, hard and fast towards one or the other. You don't want to be 100% in the light because then you won't see the dark side of things and others. And then you don't want to be 100% in the dark because you don't want to ignore the light of others and things. So let's get into at the boundaries first of all because that has, this is the second time that's come up. So let's get into that. All right, it says boundaries. I'm reading it from the book. Let me hold that up first. So if you would like to pause and read it yourself, hopefully it's clear. I'm trying to, and you can pause it and read. <clears throat> All right, it says your intentions have been rather hazy of late, nor are you giving the right signals about who and what you are. In fact, do you actually even know who you are at this very moment? And that's what I was getting before I even cut the camera on that you are changing for a while. For the past few days, since the last reading I posted on my channel like two, three days ago. I don't know if it's two or three days ago. I've been getting nothing but you're changing, you're changing, you're changing. Like that's all I've been getting. And because I see it throughout my life, like I see major changes happening and continuously happening like it's mostly internal, but I'm seeing a lot of it manifest external as well. It's a lot of change going on and I'm seeing it and just feeling it. But yeah, in fact, do you actually even know who you are at this very moment? It's time to finally focus and get to the point. You cannot expect to be taken serious. And this is crazy because this is exactly what I just said. You cannot be, you cannot expect to be taken seriously if you have not set your boundaries. For by not doing so, you will find that others cross the line by taking advantage of you, not respecting either your space or you. Your natural energy is being drained, drawing your attention unnecessarily to others instead of what is really important. Etham offers it to cut ties with those who no longer serve your highest purpose. This doesn't necessarily mean that you will banish these people from your life, only that you won't be taking on their energetic demands, which are drawing you away from your true purpose. Mentally ask the power of Ethem to cut those cords and the perfect love and perfect trust and your vitality and focus will return. Yeah, it says you are being diverted from your path. Focus on what is truly important. Honor your beliefs and yourself. Don't get into superficial demands of others. Set clear boundaries. You would benefit from energy healing. And it's wild because that's exactly what I was yapping about. And with the card awakening, I feel like you've awakened to this. The more you've been doing your shadow work and recognizing what you will and won't allow within yourself, the more it's easier to like, boom. It's, I just feel like the more work you've been doing on yourself, when you talk to others, it's like it's screaming in your face like, uh-uh. I'm not allowing that. Bye. Like, it's just so obvious to you now. Things that did not even register to you are just so clear and obvious with you now. And there's something about a ring and the ring finger. Could be a promise ring. Could just simply be something you wear on your finger. But in both these cars, there's a... Um, oh uh, yeah, it's a ring on a ring finger, whether it's on this, the right or left hand, I'm just seeing it on both. And what symbol is that? We got fire, er, that's water, it's water. <laughs> Reflection 32, truth and fear with union. Yes, addressing it within yourself and your person, your shadow. Spider, mystery, and growth with staff and stability. I love when, I don't know why I heard karma. I heard karma in my head. <laughs> but I love when the cards confirm the reading. And then you have Healer 22, Guide, Facilitator, Awakening. Some of you could have had a physical guide in your life, whether it's a tarot reader that you normally go to to buy readings from, or you watch regularly, or um, a counselor, spiritual guide in the physical that you go to. Overall energy is haunted, atonement, and company. These are things, things that you are clearing out right now, 
you've awakened to right now, like things that you are addressing and working on right now are things that have been residing in you for millennia, I heard. <laughs> but just like months, years, a very long time. I'm getting years and decades, honestly. Like years and decades. The things that you are releasing now, and then you have crossing, revealing truth, and concealment, the veil. Seeing things clearly that you did not see before. It's just things that you are releasing and letting go of right now are things that you have repressed for a long time. Things that you ignored for a long time or for some you just simply were not aware of. Because a lot of times when there is no unification, when we ignore either the light or the dark sides of ourselves, there is no balance. There is no stability because we favor one side over the other and see one as better than the other. Some people see their shadow side as better than the light because they see the light as weak. Like say for instance, if your shadow was angry or distant or whatever it is. They see that as strength. So they ignore the light. But anyway. I see you going through an awakening. Of what true union and stability means. Within yourself and your relationships. So you're facing your fears. And seeing the truth with reflection. Self reflection. You see how she's sitting in that mirror. And then the mystery about true growth here with the mystery and growth and spider patterns, recognizing the patterns and what that means for you. Because everybody watching this, your patterns are going to be different, of course. The light or dark side you lean on is going to be different for everyone watching, but you're recognizing it. And then with guide and facilitator and healer, some of you could be choosing or have chosen a guide here. Some of you could be healers. Or being called to do so. Healers need healing too. Healers, just like therapists. Therapists have therapists, okay? <laughs> There's time when we all need to check in. And then boundaries is your overall energy. I feel like those of you who are watching, who have manifested this video, you are defining your boundaries clearly. You've done it clearly with yourself and now you're in a, in a space and a timeline and a period of your life where boundaries are being set and you will not be moved by that. And this is also related to with haunting, atonement and company. I feel like times in the past where you were lenient with your boundaries or you weren't aware of your boundaries, they haunt you and they've been haunting you for many years. And now you are finally making it clear and solid to yourself and others. Expect pushback initially when it comes to boundary setting. Because people are used to having certain access to you and being able to do certain things around you. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying expect it because I've been there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're meant to be a guide, a healer. I'm just saying, like, it's not it's not often that you meet people who are self-aware. I it took me a while to become self-aware about the thing that I nitpicked people on, only to find out that I possessed those traits too. And then I recognized a lot of people do that. They will condemn and nitpick others about traits that they also possess and do. A lot of people are hypocritical and they won't accept or realize that. And I feel like that is what you're recognizing and know it is rare. It is rare to be self-aware. Like say for instance, you, you see someone who always, whether it's family or friend or work or love, you're around someone who always criticizes people about their weight. And then you recognize that you are very critical about your own weight and then you notice other people's or whatever. You may not be as critical as this person, but you also take note of it. And then you're recognizing that in yourself. That person who criticizes others about their weight, they will turn around and get mad at someone else for talking about other people's bodies and body positivity and things like that. 
Like, look at that whole case with Lizzo. There are people who are who will talk about others and be they're completely not self aware. Glove, money, status, complacency with truth and fear. Some people could be afraid to speak out about something due to uh, finances and security. Yeah, based on their gender, maybe you're speaking out and you're in a, either a, a male dominated field or a female dominated field. And you could be a male, female, non-binary, whatever your gender is, you could be afraid to speak out in your field due to like gender differences because overall energy is appearances, society, gender. You may not fit into the gender norms. I know I don't, so I can relate. Like <laughs> I am a female. I identify as a cis uh, woman and I have like a short haircut. And that is such a traditional basic ass thing, but it's like, if y'all can see me, I just tilted my head into the camera. It's like a uh, woman with short hair bad. It's so stupid, but it's like, it is what it is. <laughs> Cauldron, creativity, surprising yourself, the rich bra. And then you have pawn, looking inward, inspiration, uncertainty. You could be second guessing yourself about being a teacher or a healer. Maybe you want to be a psychiatrist, counselor, therapist, or a healer, facilitator, guide, or some type of inspiration of some kind. I find that I only want to hear from, listen to, heal, heal and be guided by people who've been through what I've been through or worse and come out the other side. I don't want to listen to someone else who hasn't gone through anything to teach me how to get out of it. Because how do you know? I want to listen to rags to riches stories. I want to hear someone who's been poor and gotten themselves out of it. I don't want to hear from someone who's always been rich, you know, because how are they going to tell you how to get out of your situation? Say, for instance, you broke your leg and you want to learn how to heal. You're not going to listen to someone who hasn't broken a leg because they don't know. Of course, unless they're a doctor, I'm just saying you want to hear from people who have experience. Like if you're looking up certain things, um, if you're not, you know, unless you're going to a professional, <laughs> it's like you don't want to hear from people. You don't want to hear from someone who hasn't gone through what you've gone through. You want to hear from people who've gone through what you've gone through and who have come out of it. You don't want to hear from someone who's always had it good because they, they can't teach you how to get out of it. You want to hear from someone who's gone through it. Overall energy is white dress, appearances, society, gender. With guide, facilitator, and looking inward, inspiration, uncertainty. You may second guess your own guidance for yourself because it's like oh I've made mistakes so I can't trust myself but everyone makes mistakes that's how they learn that's how they become a guide that's how they become a healer because they've made the mistakes and learned from them whether you realize it or not you are an inspiration to other people you may have uncertainty if you are feeling uncertain look inward because you've gone through things and healed from them. And look where you are now. So yes, you can be a guide and facilitator. Because you have come out of, or you're about to come out of, a period of growth. Yeah, with mystery and growth here. And then you have creativity surprising yourself. The rich broth, yes. You're about to surprise yourself. You are about to surprise yourself with this growth. I feel like you aren't even meant to thrive in this field, in this line of work. You weren't meant to come back from this experience. You weren't meant to bounce back in whatever this is. And you have truth and fear. You may have your own fears about your truth, but those who doubted you, they, they fear you bouncing back as well because that makes them second guess why they haven't 
achieved, what you're achieving. Yeah, you have money, status, complacency because you don't get complacent. The people I'm reading for, they don't get complacent. I feel like you are people who want to constantly grow. You reach a level and you want to grow even more. It's like, if I can reach this, I can go higher and higher and higher and higher. Y'all are not the type to limit yourselves. And for whatever reason, people fear that. And I feel like with boundaries, you are finally placing boundaries on negative self-talk and anyone who tries to talk down to you or limit you in any way. All right, let's get into the tarot. The Empress says fertility and fruitfulness assures peace between married couples. And with union, I definitely feel like if you're not in a relationship, you are creating union with yourself, which is going to draw union with someone else. You got union and Empress. There is going to be a beautiful divine connection coming together in love. I just see that so heavy in your read. I see if you're watching this for love, even if you aren't, I see when it comes to romance, there's a beautiful awakening for both partners. I see both people awakening at the same time to this connection and just being drawn towards each other, whether they realize it or not. Then you have the four of pentacles. Yep, because of self-atonement. It says cures mental illness, deliverance from persecution. So I don't know if you're going to some type of counseling, therapy, meditation. You're doing something for your mental health. Hopefully you can see and read this card clearly, but it's self, self, uh, it says self-atonement. And I see that for you. And that's all I've been yapping about. King of Pentacles, obedience, causes harmony and peace, calms anger in anyone. I feel like you're creating harmony within yourself between the dark and the light within you. Traits about the dark is just traits that you deem negative. Say, for instance, your light traits, you're someone who studies hard. And then your dark traits are if you don't study hard or if you don't keep up with your work, you study at the last second. Or your your dark side is someone who will wait till the last minute to do their work. You're recognizing that part of you and you're combining it with the dark and the light and utilizing it. You're like, okay, I study hard, but I usually wait till the last minute. So you're like acknowledging both parts and you're being patient with yourself. Like instead of waiting till the last minute, I'll do it the day before or two days before, or I'll do a little bit throughout each day up until that point. You're acknowledging both parts and then you're combining them working together with them instead of against or ignoring. Five of Cups, prosperity, destruction of the enemy, and deliverance from bondage. Ooh. Now, some of you could be sensing or feeling or have been dealing with someone you perceive as the enemy outside of you. But I feel like if you step back and really acknowledge, even if there's someone outside of you who's being a total bitch, <laughs> I feel like if you step back, you'll really acknowledge that that person outside of you is reflective of a part of you. And not to say like, this is just like psychology. <laughs> Noticing someone outside of you who's like reflective of the negative voice in your own head. The Five of Cups, yeah, I feel like there was past disappointments in your consistency and persistence and the work on yourself. And this time around, you're not letting it happen because you've gone through an awakening and a union with yourself and it's unbreakable. Ten of Pentacles is your overall freaking energy. Ten of freaking Pentacles. Inner and outer work. Ah, what I was yapping about. Inner and outer work helps one keep their job, protects against disasters. 
Ooh, I love to see it. Ooh, I love to see when my yapping comes to like fruition and makes sense in the reading. I love to freaking see it. All right, let's clarify. Let's clarify. Clarifying the Empress is the magician manifesting Knight of Cups, an offer. You may, someone may apologize to you. It could be a manipulative person or a mother figure. With the magician though, that's manifestation. And like I said, you manifested this video for the exact moment. So this is literally showing what the emp empress is someone who's very fertile. And it's not just like, you know, fertile as in like child birthing. It's fertile in like knowledge, manifestation, energy, positivity. And I feel like with the empress and the magician, you manifested this information to come towards you with the Knight of Cups. But also there is an offer coming towards you that is going to lead you to so many more opportunities. It's one door that's going to lead to a, a hundred doors opening for you. Either because you've been gaining a, a lot of knowledge about something, about the self and about something else, a topic, a subject. You've um, gained a lot of knowledge in order to manifest even more opportunities here. Clarifying the Four of Pentacles is the Page of Cups, a pleasant surprise. And the Four of Wands, stability, union here. Yeah, I feel like you've been harnessing energy, your own energy and knowledge for the right time. And it's finally come. Clarifying the King of Pentacles is the King of Swords. Hard work, dedication, and study. The sign, clarity, truth. Every zodiac sign has come out, y'all. I, I used to like call out the zodiac signs, but I don't see any point in it since like literally every zodiac sign is coming out. And it's just, this is for all zodiac signs, so there's no point in calling it out. Clarifying the Five of Cups is the Eight of Cups. You literally walking away. Eight of Cups is walking away from the Five of Cups, which is past disappointments. You walking away from past disappointments and investing in the new, the future with the Seven of Pentacles, overall energies, the Queen of Wands. That's you being confident. And it doesn't matter what your gender is. I cut the deck and see strength. Exactly. You moving forward in strength and confidence and standing in your power. With balance and union and stability here, you've awakened to your, your clear boundaries, who you are, what you want, what you will and won't allow, what your next goal is. Capable and confident in your own um, capabilities. Whoa. Thorns weave together the crown you deserve. Oh, yes. I love when the readings line up. Then that, that's exactly what you're doing. Boundaries and everything else I've mentioned. And then which justice is coming. Things are being put right. 27. Library, take control of your own narrative. 22. Not let nobody speak over your life and situation. In Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. Not being afraid to speak up about your boundaries. For some of you, there could be a challenge of speaking to those who've been in your life for a while and having to set boundaries with them. Those who mind don't matter and those who matter won't mind. 39, raindrops, take a chance on them. There could be someone new or just someone you're planning on keeping in your life.
close gossip. There's going to be people talking about this growth and change that you're going through. So expect gossip. Um, I don't see that it's anything negative necessarily overall. Of course, some people could be hating about it. But majority of the gossip and talk is positive. With clothes, gossip, thorns. People are talking about how you're leveling up. You're, you're doing what's best for you. Even for some of like the uh, initial gossip seems negative. Overall, people are talking about how you're doing what's best for you. Because you are giving off Empress energy, Queen of Wands energy. Someone who knows their worth. You are coming off as someone who knows their worth. Even if previously with the Five of Cups past his appointments, you felt like you let others get over on you and other people saw that you didn't know your worth and, or other people took advantage of that. People are seeing now that you know your worth and you have clear boundaries. Romance, Rose. So you have like <laughs> three cards that are screaming romance. You literally have Union. You have the Empress and you literally have Rose Romance. So just expect your romantic life to be affected in a very positive way. I see if you are in a relationship, it is going to the next level. So if you're in a, a talking stage, it'll go to commitment. If you're like in a committed stage, it's going to whatever stage it comes after that for y'all. <laughs> All right. Some of you could be getting engaged. Congratulations to those few who are getting engaged. For those of you who are going from talking to dating, congratulations. And for those of you who are single, your romantic options are going to increase. They're going to become better than your previous options. Say, for instance, your only options were people who were non-committal. Now you're going to have better options. People who do want a serious relationship and commitment. People who do take you out to nice places on a regular basis. Like your quality and options are going to go up. Memories with Rosemary and um, Five of Cups, past disappointments, memories of past disappointments, memories of people who try to control your narrative and tell you what you deserve and how far you're going to go in life. I feel like you've, uh, you've addressed that. You walked away from it and you've let it go and realized that's not what you deserve. And then overall energy is sugar, sweetness. Yeah, you're going towards better. You are You recognize what you deserve and you're going towards it. You deserve that Ten of Pentacles, and you know it, and you're not accepting anything less. Abundance. Uh, abundance. Exactly. That's what people in this right over gossip. That's what people are talking about. People are talking about you going towards what you deserve and getting that abundance, that empress energy. And I love to see it. Love again, four cards. So expect it to really shine in your love life and your self-love and romantic love. Love's going right over romance too. And with union here, expect this to really shine in your love life. So again, for those who are in relationship, your partner and you are really going to improve how you show love to each other and just really going to be more outspoken about this love and, and showing more acts of kindness and just it, it's going to show significantly. And for those of you who are single, or it's complicated, whatever. <laughs> Better options are coming in. And regardless of whether or not you're in a relationship, your boundaries are going to be so clear and straightforward and your self-love is going to be so strong that you're not going to settle. There's going to be an abundance of self-love, which is going to cause a reaction of you only accepting love. 
and attracting those who will give that. Yeah, success in other areas of life. Success in love and wealth. You have abundance, love, and success. That is success in love and in career, finance, your own personal self. Not you having success in every area of life. Not you having the Ten of Pentacles as your overall energy. Having love, union, success, and abundance. Overall energy is emotion too. Not you winning in every area of life. <laughs> and like I said, you manifested this video for this exact moment. You have reached a crucial part in your life. It, don't, it doesn't have to look perfect, but you have reached a crucial moment in your life where... You recognize your worth and you've made that tilt and that pivot into this new timeline where you are surely, no matter how it looks to others, going towards you earning that boundary, that love, that success, that abundance, and you're not settling for less. You're honoring yourself and you've gotten to a point where it doesn't matter how other people feel. If they're not for you, they're not for you. And I love that for you. Come on, four of wands, stability, union, the sun, happiest card, the tarot, emotions, sweetness, being loving and sweet with yourself and, and only expecting that from others. And I love that you're just being so sweet and loving and kind with yourself, but also being very direct with others. You're not getting angry. You're not getting sad. You're just releasing and loving on you. You are at a very beautiful pivot in your life. And it's bringing nothing but success, love, abundance, and growth. Love that for you. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.